Hi friends, it's Sunday morning and uh, usually on Sundays I cook meals for at least two days so we're prepared for at least Sunday, Monday and Tuesday because I go to work and I don't have time to cook. So for today, I'm gonna show you in just a second, we're gonna make some chili and this is my three beans chili. So stay tuned for the recipe. So I, I always make chili from scratch. So I've got my three beans here. I've got some pinto beans, some white beans and some black beans that I'm going to boil. Um, I normally soak them in water for at least 12 to 24 hours, but as I have mentioned before, yesterday has been, it's been so crazy and so busy. I had to go to work and I literally did not have time to soak my beans. So I'm just gonna boil them and get them ready for our three beans chili. All right, I have washed the beans and I have covered them with water and now I'm gonna boil them. You don't need to add salt right now because this will slow down the process of boiling and I would recommend to change the water from time to time, like at least two times while boiling. And make sure you have hot water. I usually uh, boil some water and change the, the, the water. All right, friends, the beans have been boiling for about 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna throw this water. Oops. I will add the beans back in the pot and I'm gonna be adding some boiling water. I'll show you in just a second. This is my boiling water and I'll add it on top of the beans. Turn off this heat. All right. And I think I'm gonna change the water one more time after they boil for another 30 minutes. These are the ingredients for the three beans chili some ground beef and I'm gonna use about half of this package that will be around 200 grams about half a pound of ground beef one can of crushed tomatoes along with some tomato paste I think I'm gonna use about three tablespoons we'll see uh, one onion but this is a large onion so I will probably gonna be using um, half of that onion so a medium-sized onion would be would be good three garlic cloves I've got some sweet paprika here olive oil some salt some ketchup about two tablespoons I would say uh, one teaspoon of turmeric powder I think I'm gonna add two teaspoons of ground cumin powder and I think two bay leaves about that now this is the basic recipe of uh, chili of course you can add some more vegetables you can add um, bell pepper you can add corn or celery but I'm gonna make the basic recipe today. Okay, the beans are still boiling. I have changed the water one more time. So meanwhile, we can go ahead and brown the beef and adding the rest of the ingredients. So I'm gonna put some olive oil in my pan. 
about two tablespoons and add the meat. So I will add about half of this package. Oops. That's about it. And brown it. Oops, this is hot. Uh, you can discard the grease if you would like to, but I'm using some lean meat and I'm not going to discard this right now. Now I'm going to add the onions and the garlic. And I will let this cook for a minute or so. Now I will add the cumin powder, the turmeric powder, some salt, That's enough for now. We can add some more later. And the sweet paprika. It's gonna be two teaspoons. You can add more if you want to, or you can add hot paprika or chili powder. I'll give this a quick stir. Hmm, it smells amazing. The crushed tomatoes. About three tablespoons of um, tomato paste. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, that's two. And that's three. And about one tablespoon of, or you can do two tablespoons of ketchup. I'm just gonna pour here since this is almost finished and just give everything a good stir now The beans are done, I have tried them and now I'm going to take my uh, tomatoes and beef mixture and add it to the bean spot. Let's see if I can do this. Now I will give everything a good stir. Now this thing needs to simmer for at least 45 more minutes or maybe an hour to combine the flavors well. 
I will add the bay leaves. One or two. This is one. And I'm gonna add one more. Okay. I will cover it and let it simmer. All right, remember that my ketchup was almost gone, so I have added some water and I'm cleaning up the bottle and add it. You can add some more uh, sugar at this point if you would like to, because I know some people just like their chili to be a little bit sweeter. That's why I have used um, ketchup. So you can either use ketchup or sugar. This is how the beans look like after they have been simmering for about 45 minutes. And I'm gonna let them simmer for 15 more minutes and they will be done. Oh, how I wish you could have smelled this. It smells so good. And it's done now. So I have chopped some parsley. I've got some fresh parsley. Now this is totally optional. You don't need to add it, but I love parsley. You can also add cilantro prefer and the chili is done now the chili is ready this is my serving right here of course you can uh, have your choice of rice along with uh, with this but we're just gonna serve it as simple as it is you can even top it with some more parsley or um, fresh coriander or with some cheese it's your choice but it looks amazing and it tastes so delicious mm -hmm.